So guys, for today's video, we're going to discuss about Lilla. This is a complete guide for beginners and someone who wants to know more tricks using Lilla. Best lineup for Lilla. So first, the best spec ops for Lilla is Nadia and Tarma. This is why Nadia and Tarma are the perfect combination for Lilla. So let's start with Nadia. This is my promotion on her. And now why is Nadia good for Lilla? Nadia's first skill is to heal your HP and other teammates. And her first skill passive has too much heal. So her role is just to heal teammates. But it's not just the reasons. Her ultimate can give your deployed and nearby character a 35% ATK for 13.5 seconds. And that buff is really good for Lilla. And her talent is also heal. And this one is perfect for Lilla. Well, Fed Warrior gives teammates 10% crit rate when your HP is more than 50%. And that 10% crit rate is really helpful for Lilla. So let's move on to Tarma. If Nadia is for healing, then this Tarma is for armor. His passive one is armor that can transfer. If you deploy the characters after Tarma, and it lasts for 15 seconds, and Tarma passive two is 10% wound DMG bonus for all allies, and 1% wound DMG bonus for every 5% pen, and his ultimate has crowd control when it's hit the ground. Then it will spin like a hurricane and deal 40% damage every hit. And this talent is the best reason why Tarma is perfect for Lilla. It gives 10% rough when Tarma inflicts debuff. But make sure you are using wound weapon. And this talent helps Lila's drone to gain 50% bonus DMG. So let's move on to Lilla. The important thing you need to remember is, her passive is every 12 bullets fired Lilla summons a puffer bomb. And it can be lost when you get hit. And when you throw her puffer bombs, you will gain stacks. And it has damage when the enemy hit. And for every 5% long range DMG bonus, her drone deals to 0.5% damage. And for her ultimate, she will release six puffer bombs. It has crowd control and can deal more damage to the enemy. And this six capacity of puffers is for promoted Lilla. No promotion Lilla has for capacity. And this one is an important thing. You need to know for promoted Lilla, if you unlock this talent, every crit has a chance to summon a one puffer bomb and that crit will be so helpful to easily summon her drone. And when Lilla summons her drone, her weapon DMG is increased by 5% for 8 seconds, and it has stacks up to 4 times. And this is my attributes. Here I choose to balance crit rate and crit damage, but if my cores are good I choose crit damage because my Lilla is promoted so she doesn't need crit rate. Remember Lila's crit rate gives one extra puffer bomb? And if your Lilla is not promoted, then choose crit rate. And if promoted, I suggest to prioritize crit damage. So let's move on to cores. Let's start with Nadia. Nadia can use this core setup for pieces of joint operation two and two pieces of fall walker. This Joe 2 is really good for Lilla because it has passive that. When you summon a drone and Tarmazult, it will give your entire team a 20% weapon shot DMG. But if you don't have Joe 2, you can replace it in four pieces of steel worm. This core setup can be used for Tarma 2. Check the core attributes. If it's a pen, then put it to Tarma, and when it's have day buff damage bonus, put it to Nadia. So let's move on to Tarma. Tarma can use for pieces of Steel Worm and to pieces of Fall Walker. This core setup is a huge buff for Lilla. Steel Worm has 10% 8TK of all deployed characters, and Fall Walker has 6% 8TK too. Steel Worm has passive that when the characters enter the battle, 
It will give you 15% ATK for 15 seconds and can be triggered every 20 seconds. C. It's a huge buff. You can use this core for both spec ops. It will times to the buff. So let's move on to Lilla. This core setup is really good for Lilla. Four pieces of Hairbuster and two pieces of Gloner. Hairbuster passive is every nearby summons. Increase ATK by 8% up to 32%. While Gloner passive is for every 15 bullets fired increases. Summons bonus DMG by 40% for 8 seconds. If you don't have Gloner, I suggest Big Shy and C Satan. Big Shy for crit damage while C Satan is for crit rate. I suggest C Satan for those who don't have a promotion to Lilla. For extra crit rate to summon a drone easily and fast. So let's go to Lilla accessories. If you're using Gatling, use this one. Thermal Bolt passive is Lilla increases weapon DMG each time she summons a puffer bomb up to 20%, while Assault Puffer is for HMG. After summoning a drone, you will gain 30% ATK and 30% rough. So let's discuss how Lilla skills works. The first thing you need to know about using Lilla, she needs 8 puffer bombs to activate her drone. Here I'll show you how. Come on. Why don't you Look at the puffer bombs behind Lilla. After I threw my bombs, I gained for stacks. Then you need to keep firing to gain for more puffer bombs. And throw it. And then you have your drone. So easy, right? Always remember eight puffer bombs. But sometimes it has bugs, even if it is eight bombs drone didn't summon. So now let's discuss how to unlimited drone for Lilla. Unlimited drone is too easy for promoted Lilla. Because like I said, there is a bug in Lila's puffer. When your Lilla is not promoted, it will be easy if you master her. But sometimes you can't perfect it because of the bug. And yes, not promoted Lilla can do unlimited drones too. So I'm going to show you how. Keep firing to gain six puffers. Then throw it and keep firing. Throw it again when it's six. And here where unlimited drone starts. As you can see on the right side, I use first skill. When the line goes here, it has a delay so you must advance the first skill. You see my drone never lost when the stacks is more than three. The stacks is the number on the right side. This method can be done in four by for Lilla puffer bombs. So for now, focus on the right timing. So before I end this video, I want to shout out to these guys first. Shout out to Ree Shins. And shout out to Randy Mulek. And shout out to Devil 8 Bark. And lastly to my club mates Pin for Inpin. And that's it guys. I hope you learned something about Lilla. Please do subscribe and like the video. See ya next vids.